Ida, you're almost the first one. <laughs> so we are out oh, here. I'm going to do. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hi. Where, where, where? Okay. Spatchcock chicken with leeks. Cabbage slaw salad or cabbage salad. We'll say that. I'm I'm writing what I'm making so that way you guys can see that. Hold on one second. Ah. Come on. Pin. Pin. Internet. Sorry guys. I don't know. This is not working. I'm trying to pin my comment, but I guess it's not working. Whatever. Okay, um, let's see. I am missing. What brand is my oven? It's called, it's by, um, it's by Kutch. This is cute. If you're interested, it's seriously an amazing oven. Oh, that's really cute. I think you should do that. Okay, I'll save it. Where? It's, um, like, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. What brand is my wine glass? This is just from TJ Maxx. Francesca. Покажешь мне завтра, окей? Okay? Или чуть-чуть попозже, потому что ты сейчас мешаешь. Okay. So I'm making this like a uh, leek kind of sauce that's gonna go on top of the spatchcock chicken, you guys. Um, if you're just joining in, let me know where you're joining in from. And um, what you guys had for dinner? I am three hours, it's 6.57. Yeah, I usually get my wine glasses in at like Marshall's, TJ Maxx, Ross, whatever, because I have a lot of people over at my house and I am not about to spend money on nice glasses for people to break them. So, um, how do I like open shelving? I love open shelving. They are the best. I am not like a cabinets person. Like if it was up to me, I would just have open shelving everywhere, personally. Well, actually I do. How long does the salad last? Um, I mean, you can eat it tomorrow. It's, I think it's always best the first day, second day for sure. It'll be a little bit more soggier. The cabbage salad is what she's asking about. Um, but I am make, I made, watch this. I, this is the second live, so I'm just finishing up. I just made a spatchcock chicken with tome, which is a garlic sauce underneath the skin on top of the skin, making a leek sauce that's gonna go on top, like a caramelized leek sauce. And then I also made a cabbage slaw salad that's going with this. I don't know what my phone is like. Dark, kind of. I hope, I hope it's not. I, I, it is, I don't know why. Maybe like a leek sauce-ish. So I'm gonna, I, I did butter for the leeks, um, and I showed um, on the first live, oh, shouldn't totally. Honey, the recipe is right here. Just watch, watch, and this is the recipe. There is no recipe here. It's butter, leeks, little salt, and I'm gonna add a little bit of um, heavy cream probably, or half and half to make it creamy. Add some more butter. Okay. Leeks and butter and white wine is like best friends together. Ooh, that's awesome. Uh -huh. I am self-taught. But I mean, I watch videos and I learn from people by watching videos, but I mean, Jamie Oliver was probably, like I watched so many Jamie Oliver videos and shows and Ina Garten, and I learned from them by watching videos. I, I mean, I've gone to like a few cooking classes with friends for fun, but I've never been like technically trained, if you're asking that part. Um, no, I'm just gonna add salt, butter, white wine, 
and then I'll see if I um, if I decide to add any cream. Maybe, possibly, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna quickly check the chicken to see if it needs any more cooking. I'm gonna use my meat thermometer. And I'm gonna I'm going to use my meat thermometer. Wait. Okay. And I'm gonna put it in like the thickest part of the, let's, let's do it this way. Thickest part of the chicken, which is usually the breast. And it should be at like 160, because it's gonna still sit and can continue cooking. It will, uh, you want it to be like 160, 165. So let's see, we're at 140 right now. Let me put it here. I just kind of check it to see, and if there's any kind of, uh, if there's clear liquid that comes out, then the chicken's ready. If there's any kind of pink liquid that comes out, then the chicken needs a little bit more time. Just, that's how I kind of tell. If I don't have a meat thermometer by me, that's how I tell if the chicken is ready or not. Hold on one second, I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit. Check this temperature gauge. Whoops, 140. I might stick this in for a few more minutes. Ooh. I'm gonna just do like five more minutes. So I had it in at uh, 425 um, for 30 minutes, and I just put it back in for another five minutes. <sighs> I'm not big on seasoning. I am more like garlic, fresh herbs kind of girl. Butter, olive oil. I do have the best steak, ribeye steak on my blog. So, I do know you can have your mom or dad make it for you since you're only 10 or 11, sorry. Unless you like to cook and you can follow directions. And you can try it too. Chicken is so good. Okay. Ooh. Yes to cream. Okay. Um, I will let the chicken rest for like uh, 10 minutes um, and I'll put a foil on it. Hi, Tracy. I made the um, chicken. Uh, all rubbed in tomb. I just made tomb today. So the garlic sauce, it's amazing. Made spatchcock chicken. Um, it went back in the oven for a few more minutes. Oh, thank you. I'm making spatchcock. I made spatchcock chicken uh, rubbed in garlic sauce underneath the skin, on top of the skin, all over with a little black garlic salt and um, lemon underneath and rosemary underneath the skin and now i'm making some leek sauce that's going to go on top of the chicken and i made a um cabbage slaw this cabbage slaw is on my blog and it is amazing watch this crunchy I've made duck breast before, but not like a full. Aw. Hi, Christina. And hubby. Okay, Alina, how about you watch? And then you can see what it looks like. It's gonna, it's just leeks, butter, a little salt. I'm gonna add a little bit of wine very soon, like right now. To deglaze the pan and add some flavor. I mean, mashed potatoes would be amazing with this right now, but I'm not doing any mashed potatoes. Add a little bit more wine. Add a little bit more butter. Because butter leaks and um, Wine are just really good friends together, so they love hanging out together. And we'll just let them be BFFs. 
breakfast ideas. I have some on my blog and definitely on my feed. So if you actually look at my feed, you can see it. Oh, thank you, Alina. Has your mom made any of my recipes? Um, you know, I usually have like cheap wine for that, but because I am having a little bit, I don't know, somebody brought this over, so I'm not sure um, how good or how, I mean, it tastes pretty good. My phone is like tinted. It is driving me crazy that it's not clear. Urgh. But maybe it's the lighting. Can you turn up the lights, baby? I dimmed the lights a little bit, the one that's closer to the end. No, turn it higher. Woo, it's a little bit better. Um, you know what? I will make my shuba, because I know that's something I had promised you guys. So I'll make my shuba, which is a Russian, well, it's like a salad. Uh, the sucky thing is you can't, you shouldn't eat it right away because it kind of needs to sit and hang out and get all the flavors together, but it has herring. Um, it has herring in it. So if you like herring, I mean, maybe I should make like one smaller one with herring and one smaller one with smoked salmon. So if you don't like herring, I could totally do that. Oh yeah. Lena's kitchen pickled onions. They're the best. Have you tried them? Did you like them, Alina? Do you like to cook with your mom? Like you actually cooking? Okay, I'm gonna get that chicken out. Show you guys that chicken again. The window Look at that beautiful spatchcock chicken full of garlic and rosemary and black garlic salt. Um, I bought my garland. I mean, you can buy fresh garland like Costco and anywhere right now. I have some from Costco, which is actually cheaper. Um, I was just close to Buy Mart near my house. There you go. Because um, we have a whole bunch of garland outside. Yes, I will link my oven here so you guys can see. This oven right here, this big one. And then I have this little tabletop one that I use quite a bit too. Um, I've never deboned and spatchcocked my chicken. I actually have deboned, I think, um, quit, not quail. Um, what's the little chickens? But that was uh, never again. Would never do that again. So. I would personally not want to do that. Yes, I will. I will link the my um, my oven. Yes, Cornish game hens. Yes, that's right. That was a you know B word, and I would never do that again. <laughs> a mole fine. Gonna cover this for. A little bit, especially like the breast area. I want this to kind of finish cooking. So, pizza recipes. Oh my gosh, you have so many questions. Um, I do have a couple pizza recipes on my blog. So, like I said, if you check out my blog, there's recipes on there. Okay, I'm gonna taste this. You, sh Alina, you should go look at my blog, and then ask me what you saw on there. They have questions about. Forgot to add salt. I'm gonna add some salt. And then, hi.
Yeah, you could totally do veggie stock or chicken stock, totally. Um, the wine, like, it doesn't do anything. It just adds flavor, so you're not going to taste alcohol in there. So it's totally fine um, for kids or if you're worried about that. My kids, yes. My stepson, not so much. There's, you know, we're, we're, we're learning and we're getting better at that with him. Okay, oh, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of thyme. Because who's got time for that? Uh, oh, that's awesome. So glad to hear that your mom cooks. I'm gonna add just like a little bit of thyme because I think it'll add a little, a good flavor in there. So I'm just taking off the little leaves. You don't want any stems in there. Just a little bit. I feel like it just kind of will add, add a little bit more wine. And then we're just gonna add some, uh, no, I don't cook for weddings. Uh, some heavy whipping cream, because why not? Um, I have done a uh, charcuterie board for weddings. That's about it. I don't, I don't cook for big events like that. Cause it's just me. I don't have help with that in that department. So probably a little bit more salt. It's gonna be less of a sauce and more of like a stewy kind of sauce that's gonna go on top of the chicken. So there you guys go, so you can see. So it's more like, kind of like a thick sauce. I'm gonna try this. Do I ever cook using recipe or do you? Um, I mean, I have to create recipes for clients, so I kind of come up with my own stuff. I am really hungry too. Uh, what kind of herbs do I freeze? Um, the only one I have frozen before is dill and I chop everything up. Hi. Hi, Lana. Um, yeah, the only herbs I've frozen, uh, well, I mean, I guess you could do like basil pesto too. Um, but let's try this. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a little, a little nibble. Mm. Mm. That is. <laughs> have a pop tart girl. Have one for me. This, oh my gosh, this is so good. So good. Leeks are um, in a family of green onion and onion but sweeter in flavor. So when you add butter, white wine, salt, um, heavy cream, things like that, it just brings out the sweetness in it. There's part of the leak. No more wine for you. Oh, I haven't even, ha I just finished the class. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm making, what I just actually made. So I just made a yummy, leek white wine butter and um heavy cream little like kind of sauce i just finished my spatchcock chicken with garlic black gar like a garlic sauce black garlic sea uh sea salt and some rosemary and i just kind of hang out here for a second and then i have a yummy cabbage slaw that's going to be like the base then you put the chicken and then you put the leeks so that's what I made. <sighs> Ooh, yeah, okay, mushrooms would be amazing, but half of my family doesn't like mushrooms. I can eat them all day long. Leek mushroom sauce gravy with beer. Um, no, but I mean beer and wine, kind of same thing. I would probably not use like an ale. I would use like a German kind of style ale uh, german style beer because it's not so acidic um so it'll be more like wine but 
or maybe like a stout because stout would probably be good with um, mushrooms. So I think we let the chicken hang out enough that I can cut it. I'll show you guys what it looks like. So excited to eat. Hi. Okay, I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna put this down a little bit and then Look at that chicken. Look at that chicken. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Aw, -mm -mm -mm. thanks, Maria. Okay, so I have I'm gonna flip this over for a second so I can see how I have all this stuff. I don't want that on the bottom, so I'm just gonna remove all of that and then we're gonna cut the chicken. Yes, I have made mushroom soup. Okay. Ooh, girl. I'm gonna grab my cleaver. My cleaver for this. Thank you, Kay. Of course, you're welcome, Anastasia. Good night. Thank you for joining in. I'm gonna remove um, the rosemary. Actually, no, they can remove themselves. No, I don't like Cutco knives. I like Shun knives, they're my favorite. I know a lot of people like Cutco knives and that's good for you. Okay, um, look at this. Okay, I think I might, let me get my knife. Sorry guys, this chicken it was a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna check the temperature because I don't want it to be undercooked. So you want your chicken to be at 165 when it's fully cooked, like in the breast area. I'm gonna put it in the thickest part. Hello, come on chicken. I thought it was good. I mean, it looks pretty good. Sorry, one second, I'm just checking. No, I think it's fine. I've cleared. Mm. Okay, maybe not. I'm gonna put this back in the oven for just a little bit more. I should have cooked it for 40 minutes instead of 35 okay just gonna put this girl back in i'm gonna take off the wings because i don't want them to burn it's called compromise cooking guys Whew. compromising with the cooking yes i've been to williams sonoma Whew. i'm just gonna take off the wings like that because that's hot <laughs> okay i'm gonna pop this in for just a little bit more and I'm actually going to this is how you compromise guys I'm going to put my foil on because I don't want it to burn I'm gonna put this back in the oven okay well <laughs> I know I'm definitely a dark meat girl I have my own business. It's called Lena's Kitchen Blog. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. That garlic in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my gosh. Um, it, so Anastasia, um, you could totally watch the first live. I just spatchcocked a chicken. I put some garlic sauce on underneath the skin with a little uh, black garlic salt. Um, and then a little rosemary sprigs. Um, I baked that at 425 for 30 minutes, 35 minutes. I have to put it back in for a couple more minutes because the chicken was a little bit bigger. 
So it kind of depends on the size of your chicken. You want your breast part to be 165 on the meat thermometer. And then I made, sorry, I'm totally gonna lick my fingers because it's my family. Um, and then I made some like leek kind of sauce. I, I'll dilute this a little bit more right before we're ready to eat. And then I made a cabbage, cucumber, and dill slaw that's on my blog. And the chicken is in the oven. So. Um, the, so if you guys missed the first part of the live, you need to go back and um, watch the first live. I showed every step by step for you guys. So. It's called spatch cooking. Mmm. Uh, yeah, garlic sauce. I feel like I should just dip it into garlic sauce. So this is the garlic sauce, and um, it's amazing. I'm literally just gonna do this. <laughs> oh, Diane Morrissey is the best. She's awesome. I love her. Mmm. I'm gonna eat wings while that's finished cooking. You know, so you're down for getting nails done tomorrow? You're gonna text me, right? When is the next live? Next week. I have decorated for Christmas. I'll show you guys. Show you my Christmas decoration. Okay. Thanks, hon. Well, I have Christmas right there. And then I have these little this little house with little Christmas trees. I'll show you my tree. What am I making for Christmas? I want to do Russian food. There's my Christmas tree. There's my little Christmas village on my mantle. And then we have a whole bunch of decorations outside. Hi, Laura. How are you? Thank you. Ina, I think I'm gonna make, I, I wanna have a Russian um, Christmas party. And okay, so we don't do like Christmas dinner, really. So I think that'll be more for like friends. Like, we'll, we usually do brunch for Christmas and then we just kind of make simple food, nothing crazy special. Um, because, you know, kids, I'm not gonna be spending time in the kitchen. Like I would rather spend time with the kids and hang out than be in the kitchen all day. So we do usually do brunch. And we do like waffles and pancakes and that kind of stuff with Shay's family, so. Ida, yes. I'm thinking I'm having like a post-Christmas Russian party. Like you have to bring a Russian dish, dress like 1990s, you just came to America, FOB style. I think it'd be kind of funny. What do you think? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> No, I'm I'm not kidding, Ida. You're you're invited. Okay, so do you guys want to like continue hanging out while the chicken is continue to cook? I'm like losing you guys by the pound. You have plato chicken. <laughs> oh, I need to go find like um. When I moved to America, I was 11, and I was wearing like kind of parachute MC Hammer kind of pants and a Gucci t-shirt with like wing glasses. Ooh, oh, we should, oh, we should all curl, like crimp our hair and have like 
that oh my gosh that'd be so funny <gasps> oh yes adidas oh my gosh oh i should just because costco right now has really cute adidas pants i think i might do that like full on adidas tracksuit who wants to come to my christmas party if you live in portland Oh, I would, I've had a perm twice, so I would never do that to my hair again. <laughs> oh, sandals and socks. Yes. Ida, you're invited. Girl, don't even ask. I'm just going to eat. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I'll do some, like, back combing, too. Mmm. <laughs> We'll make holidays and we'll make Katliati and Olivia and all the Russian food. Pumas, yes. I think we used to call them putas. <laughs> yeah. And the suitcase, like I just escaped Russia. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and we'll have vodka. How about I just have a suitcase of shot glasses and vodka? That's like the leaving Amer leaving to America party. Oh my gosh, that's what I'll call it. Leaving to America party. <laughs> yes, the tapachki with the beads <laughs> to massage your feet. Oh my gosh. Oh, I will have shuba. Like, yes, you will bring some ahonka. What, what else? What are you going to bring for food? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm dying. Yesterday, if you guys watched my yesterday's live, I was inviting you guys to my birthday party. Uh, it's December 15th at my house. Um, and I was saying, I'm going to do a soup night. And I was saying... How funny would it be if I told everybody that the party's happening at um, Olive Garden? That'd be kind of funny, right? Mm. Oh, yes. I sh oh, that should be the backdrop for the photos. Ina, that's a good idea. <laughs> I wouldn't either. I mean, you know. Whoops. I'm eating things on a bone in front of you guys. That's how much I love you. I should have a shot of vodka right now. No, just kidding. No, just kidding. Ooh, I want to know. How long have you guys been following me? Like, how long have I been in your life? You can be like rounded up to like less than six months, six months, a year, two years, couple of years. I don't know. Yes, to Russian Russian music only. Heck yeah, I have a really good station actually. Ruki Birk and Laskovi Mai, Ala Pugachova. Like, I mean, back to Russia. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Oh, you guys need to have your own, though. I think. I won't forget about the chicken. I'm going to leave it for, like, two more minutes. Uh, my kitchen was done uh, last, so we bought the house in November. <laughs> oh, okay, so we'll have the bows. I think it's like uh, the, like, you know, the things that you do for like photo booths. I think I should have that as, as um, like a, whatchamacallit, like a prop. There you go. Girl, Ida, 
we're like soul sisters. Like the day we met was the first day of our, the rest of our lives. Okay, I love the fact that you guys are all like the newer people. We're all my like old followers. What's up with that people? If you're listening, why aren't you here to support? I love all my newbies. You guys are amazing. Just FYI. <laughs> Girl, I mean, you can come stay with me. We have place, we, have, we don't have kids, so we have Two, four, six, eight, probably have like 10 people stay at our house and not have to drive home. So, but I will, I think I should do a live. I'll do at least a clip of a live for sure. Yeah. No, two years is not old. I have been on Instagram for, since 2011. So, it's been a while. I think we should check. Should we check in on chicken? I think we should check in on chicken. I don't want to over. Well, you can't overcook that chicken. That's the best part about it. Let's see, Danica and I did a collab six months-ish, maybe longer ago. I haven't seen her in a while. I don't see her that often. She follows me, but not like really follows me, you know what I mean? So. Sorry. Was that very honest? <laughs> Uh, yesterday's live was very funny. I'm gonna add that to YouTube because I was like crack, like cracking up laughing. So, look at that chicken. We made that together, guys. You guys watched, and I did this like leek sauce situation and a yummy cabbage slaw. Okay, we're at 50, so I feel like the chicken's done. Okay, chicken's done. Honesty is the best policy, isn't that, isn't that the truth? I guess I, I can't. I bring all the girls on the um. <laughs> I love that you guys are all in like, East Coast and you're like up watching me. I give you really big props for that. Put this. Ooh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna brush some more garlic on this. Look at this. Look at this situation that's about to happen. Bye Maria. Nice to see you, hun. So I have this garlic sauce. I'm gonna be extra and I'm just gonna add a little bit more garlic. Can't have too much garlic. Um, so I was very frugal. So we did all the demo on our kitchen. You can totally ask. Um, my cabinets were like $6,000. My countertops, I think were like three, maybe 4,000. Uh, but I mean, that's okay. I think we spent like $30,000 on I mean everything, but I mean it's like we had the whole house painted, we had new floors put in everywhere except downstairs. That's including all the appliances, 
lighting, electricity we had, walls and ceilings rebuilt. There was a lot of work. There was a lot of like after work. So we did all the demo ourselves. So I think for the big job that we did, 30,000, well, I think it was like 28. But that's not bad. That's actually not bad. So, so let's cut this chicken apart. That's hot. So. <laughs> The garlic sauce is called tomb. I'm gonna do the recipe link for it um, after this live for you guys. It's my friend Cosette's recipe. Man, what the heck? I feel like I'm like having failed moment. What is this? Like this still looks a little raw to me. Oh, this is driving me crazy. You guys are like, she doesn't know how to cook. Let's check this one. Woo! That was a big girl. I shouldn't have gotten such a huge chicken, I guess. Woo! Yeah, this is kind of making me a little, little nervous. This is seriously starting to drive me crazy. I mean, the breast looks very moist I would rather put this in for another 10 minutes this chicken was larger than I usually buy so I'm gonna put it back in because I'm not giving anybody salmonella or whatever rawness Last time I cooked it. I'm just gonna set it for 10 minutes because I would rather be sure than sorry. Yeah, see, I mean, it's never gonna be fake. Sorry guys, I don't know how to be fake. I will say how it is. I will drink wine unapologetically. So, let's see, what did you guys say? Make a meet around. Do you guys want to, I'll show you the tour because, you know, it, it's a little bit of right now since we are uh, waiting on that chicken. So here's the kitchen. Well, this is how I'm showing you guys how to fix that issue, you know? So if you get a bigger chicken, if a recipe says cook it for 35 minutes and then it's not at the temperature you need it to be, that's how you fix it. You just put a little bit of foil on top. Here's the living room. Look, this is all the art that's been sitting here for a week that I have not, I have not put away. Cause that used to be on that wall. And this is how lazy I've been. I've not done anything, you know? Nothing. <laughs> There's my prop area. There's our dining room area. This is all one room. Oh yeah, I'll show you the fridges. Good idea. They're they're a mess too, just like my life right now. Well, there's a there's a lot of food here. So this is like the meat, cheese, bread kind of area. There's the veggie area. Next to it is dairy and eggs and then all the sauces. Apparently we like pickled things and sauces right here and hot sauces and things like that. And then my pots and pans live here. These are like my more everyday use. And you got like the knives and everyday use stuff here. And there's like more pots and pans here. I have like small appliances there baking things so i love having this like little secret drawer this is like extra salts and spices and things like that and then here's more spices and the rest of my pantry here i do have another drawer for pantry which is i have like cereal for kids and these two and then like pastas and things like that here so 
and I like recycling and extras there. So, thank you. I love the greenery too. I'm glad that I add that in. And it's just fresh garland. I think it's best priced at Costco if you have a Costco membership. So. Do I store potatoes in the fridge? Um, actually, I do. My mom does not. But like my parents, they shop like, there's two of them. They shop like 15 people live with them. My dad brought back garlic from Ukraine. I have some right here. I used it to make tome. He brought a hundred heads back. As if we have no garlic in America. I was just telling Shay that my husband I was like, I feel like I've become my parents because if I find something on sale, like, I'll buy a lot of it. Why? Then stuff goes bad. I'm like, the mentality of like, I'm saving money. I should buy a lot of that. Really? So when we used to live with my parents still, uh, when it was like tangerine season or cherry season or any kind of season like that, uh, my dad would buy like boxes. And you would get in trouble if you've not eaten like 10 pounds a day. And you're like, dude, I can only eat, I have rash from all the citrus because I've eaten so much citrus. It's like Russian, your families do that too? That's my family, they still do it. There's two of them, two of them. My dad's, uh, when we came to visit for five weeks with my sister and both of, and our four kids, there was so much food and fruits like I was like, mom, you're like wasting stuff. Oh, well, what if you guys want a little bit of that? What if you want a little bit of that? I'm like, no, don't want to eat like 20 apples in a day, but thank you. So sweet. My parents are just so sweet. They are so sweet and they mean a lot, but I'm like, dude, you're like wasting. Why don't you buy like 20,000 cucumbers and their fridge is like packed. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> He brought cucumbers. Oh, that's a first. That's, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love, I love that like my family is not the only ones that do that. I love that. Yeah, I, I feel like Jeremy, yes. I feel like, I feel like they're like, uh, it's a sale that means it's the end of the world. So we should just buy like 20,000 pounds of something, of one thing of one thing. But my parents do entertain entertain quite a bit and go to like family's house quite a bit. But I'm like, dude, there's only two of you living in that house. You don't need that much all the time, okay? You brought honey. That's awesome. <laughs> Me too, Anna. Um, and Anna, delightful ideas. Your dish looks okay. You you made um, vinaigrette with um, garbanzo beans. That looked really good. I'm not like a beans person, so I'm not like a vinaigrette person. So if my mom makes vinaigrette for me, which is like a beet kind of uh, salad, Russian salad, I always ask her not to put any beans because I don't really like beans. I don't want to be farting up in here. Sorry, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh, Ida, that's, that's special. Did you bring that like in your suitcase? Like they have no chickens? Was it like from like a Russian, like who killed it in a backyard kind of chickens? 20 pounds of sugar. Okay. Wow. Uh, love, love pink 2001. Uh, is it for somebody who's a baker? Carry on. Oh, <laughs> um, I have brought back a carry on filled with sausage. So, but I mean, frozen chicken. Yeah, I mean, we were thankfully not living in poverty in Ukraine. If if you if I would go back to when I was little. My dad was like a baller. He used to sit in his tidy whities and he would have somebody come to our house and bring like cash, like 
American dollars. And my dad would buy those with Russian money. And we would sit there and like count it on the bed. And then like an hour later, somebody would come and bring Russian money to buy the American dollars. And we'd be sitting there counting money. That's my memories of being, you know, 11 years old in Ukraine. So. Because, you know what, some Russians say sale, because it's a sale, you know, I gotta get it on sale. That's something somebody has said before. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my, par my parents were, my dad used to sell stuff on the black market. They used to uh, sew fur hats and fur, like, things for, like, your coat, fur, like, collars. And that was, like... Um, you can only sell on the black market, so you like needed to know like the mafia and the cops and all the things. So yeah, that was my family. When we were, when my dad left to America to go like visit to see how it was, because my aunts and uncles already left in 1991, uh, we had people threatening my sister, my mom, and I, saying that my dad is a traitor and he left to America. So. Um, my dad came back and overnight we packed everything. We had two suitcases each and we left. Like left our house, left our pet, left our everything and just left. And yeah, that was my last memory of living in Ukraine, so. Oh, I mean, probably. I mean, my dad came from um, eight kids in a family so maybe that's a possibility of that. Like we need to buy enough for feeding like 2,000 people. But plus, our family owns a church back east in New Jersey, so they have, like, big parties after church quite a bit. Like, all of our family gets together after church every Sunday, so my parents are always making plov, always making borscht or whatever for, like, so many people. Because you never know who's going to stop by, right? Okay. If this chicken is not done, I'm literally throwing it out the window. <laughs> I mean, I can, but then what are all the people who don't speak Russian are going to do? And I mean, I can speak Russian, but I'm not like the best at it. I might not know all the words. I've lived in America for 28 years, so. I was born in Ukraine. If Literally, if this chicken is not done, we're not having chicken today. Like, they can go have McDonald's today. I'm not eating this chicken. <laughs> Um, I am Christian. When I was, you know, living with my parents, I was Baptist, Russian Baptist, but I'm not that anymore because it's culty, can't do it anymore. Not, I'm not judging Russian Christians at all, but. <laughs> Ida, yes. I'll just make chicken stock. Okay, it's at 160. Finally. Pentecostal. Do you think I should call my family or should I just like sit down and eat? And then once I'm done eating, I tell them the food's ready so I can just go to bed and they can clean up. Wouldn't that be mean? Hey, babe. If you guys are hungry, food's ready. Okay. Uh, let's cut that chicken. Finally. I did call the herding call that the food is ready. So if you guys, you get the Can I have the drumstick? Okay, awesome, great. Could you get me plates? Um, let's do, Keep let's do bowls actually. Stuff. Yeah, Nikita, you clean up your stuff. Did she, she check everything? Eat alone. <laughs> that would have been actually pretty funny. Where's your dad? Tell him that he needs to come. Just gonna. Ugh. You guys are just seeing all my fails today, you know? Can't cook chicken, do all that. 
Yeah, yeah, that would be actually really funny. Checo, where do you want to sit? In my usual spot? Okay. Okay. That's why you use a cleaver if you need to sometimes, you know, cut a chicken. Yeah, I had taken me like almost an hour to cook the chicken. <laughs> I kept on failing. Could you give me a platter, baby, please? Mama never fails. Yeah, today was a fail. Oh, look at that. We've cooked for two hours, guys. I'm just going to heat up my sauce. Thank you, guys. <laughs> it was super fun hanging out with you guys today. I'm actually going to go. Oh, I thought it was kicking me off. Do you want one of these type of platters? Or you want no, what's a platter, honey? What's a platter? It's the platter puss. It's the platter puss. Hi, Ava. Yes, that's great. Okay, I'll just take apart the chicken. Uh, my friend Ida. Uh, I don't, Ida, did you meet Francesca? Yeah, can you just. Thank you. Um, who wants chicken breast? Who wants chicken breast so if I know to cut it or not? Don't get me cup, I have meat upstairs. So, Chick, do you want Your cup should have come down upstairs. That's there. Okay, so. You want white meat? Who wants white meat? Okay. I'll just do one breast then. Does anybody else want one of these? Um, no, I'll have water. Yeah, I want water. You're welcome. I know I missed you guys too. I'm glad that we got to hang out today. Do you want one of these? Sure, thank you. Okay, so Mama wants one. I'll just take that, please. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Okay, so the breast is super juicy and delicious. I'm just gonna cut this at an angle. Whew. It's very hot, I'm just gonna hold it with this other knife. No, I need, I'm just gonna use my hands. Hmm. Oh, now it's le now it's telling me I have less than two minutes left on the line. Two point oh. Okay, this turned out so good and juicy. Look at this, guys. That's a chicken. And then here's that leek sauce situation, and then the cabbage slaw. That's dinner tonight. Um, thank you guys for joining. I'm going to let you guys go and then finish up having dinner. Thanks for joining in. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. I'll save this on YouTube along with the first live if you missed it.